Hello and welcome, it is the first video of 2024. Happy New Year everybody. Yes, it's the same breakfast, same porridge, because if it ain't broke, why fix it? This particular morning I started with a bit of uni work after breakfast and then obviously did my quiet time with Jesus. Um, I'm really trying to reconnect because at home I was finding it really difficult to kind of take the time to read my Bible because I wanted to spend all the time with my family. So I've been really trying to prioritize my quiet times when getting back into my routine. Hey guys, what's up? If you're new around here, my name is Hal Martin. Just getting ready for work. This lighting is not doing me any favours, but YOLO. Happy 2024. Hope you all had an incredible Christmas. What was Christmas? Two weeks ago? It's one week. One week? Only one week? Okay, that makes me feel marginally better because I definitely feel like I'm still trying to get back into the rhythm of things here. I'm going to talk later in the video because I'm still trying to get to work. I've got some rehearsals today. I think I've got about three hours of rehearsals and class. Yeah, I've definitely been struggling to kind of get back into routine after the Christmas holes. Normally, I, I love New Year's. It kind of like gets me amped up, set new goals. I start doing things differently. But this year, I have to say, I feel like I've come into 2024 in a bit of a slumber. A little bit tired still, um, even though we had a good amount of time off. Not quite sure why. I'll probably unpack that a little bit more later on in the video. Just to say, if you guys are not feeling the 2024 vibes just yet, do not worry. It's okay, you're not the only one not feeling like you want to punch it. Um, wow, I'm not making any sense. But anyhow, I need to get to work. We will talk more when I get back. Let's go. So we left the house, which was quite an accomplishment because these first few days has been pretty tough trying to get out and get started with my day which is usually my favorite part it's the mornings but it has been a little bit tricky um just kind of getting back into routine um so I got to work one of my new year's resolutions not that I've made that many to be honest is just to try and get to work a little bit earlier so I can get a really good warm-up in and so far so good so I got in and I did kind of one third of the PBT exercises um, there's like a class and I do a third of it every morning to warm up and then I do my stretches and always make sure my ankles are very warm my turns were a bit off to say the least um, kind of starting this year but we had company class and I have to say the first few days have been really tough but I have definitely started to feel a little bit more more in my body I started going through some steps for the first rehearsal. We had pad a cat, which is what I'm understanding, which is super exciting. I'm really enjoying learning that and I'm learning a lot from being in the rehearsals. And then I had my lunch break before going in for the second rehearsals. My toenails were so bruised. They have never been this bruised before. I don't know why they're so painful. And yes, Matilde was looking at me like, what is she doing? And I agree with her. <laughs> um, it's nice to be reconnected back in with my colleagues. We love Matilda on the vlog. Give Matilda a love heart in the comments down below. Come on, Sue. Just finished my second rehearsal today, and that was quite a tough one. Just always makes me realize how much work needs to be done at the back of the room. Sometimes you can be like, oh, I've got this, I've got this, and then you, you do it, and you're like, oh, wow. Body is in quite a lot of pain from coming back. It feels like it's been quite swift into things and it's only third day back. So just got to trust the process. It was the first time doing it. Sometimes it's difficult because I feel like perfection is almost sometimes expected and some people can do that. But I'm definitely someone who needs to graft a little bit and then it will come. I know I'm trying my best and that's all I can do. Now being a professional, I'm realizing how important it is to be careful when coming back and not doing too much extra practice because we already have quite a fair few bits of rehearsals and lots of jumping for the first week back so I really do need to take care of my body and build it up a little bit more slowly um, because I have to take care of this instrument that God has given me. Um, I did practice a little bit extra this day because there were some things I wasn't happy with how they had gone in rehearsal and I just wanted them to be better and I wanted the technique to be cleaner and even now I watch these videos there's still lots of things that need to be cleaned up, need to be uh, worked on. I was marking a little bit in these videos because 
I, again, as I said, didn't want to push my body too much because it had already done quite a lot for me that day, considering I'd had quite a lot of time off and my toes were certainly feeling it. And apparently so was my brain. Afterwards, I got myself ready to go to the gym just for a short session. I'm trying to increase my foot and calf strength to just ensure more than anything just to protect my ankles um, because of the amount of point work that we do it's really important to have strong ankles and calves in order to stay injury free and that's something that I'm really trying to focus on this year more than anything is just to try and keep my body healthy I think you don't realize what a what a blessing it is to have a working body until you have something like surgery So now I'm really trying to focus on prioritizing recovery and health above a lot of things that I used to prioritize before. So we have got some dinner and some friends to go with it. We made some pizzas and we haven't seen Izzy and Alicia in so long, so we're very excited. Cheers. Yay! Woo! Let's eat! Woo! So this particular evening actually turned out to be an even more special evening because we found out that our friend Alicia had got engaged and that was just such an exciting moment to be a part of and to celebrate with her. It was so unexpected and we were so excited for her. And me and Izzy actually also did a little bit of a bit of dancing together, just in case I hadn't done enough dancing that day. We uh, were practicing a little bit of Sleeping Beauty, and we were practicing a little bit of this Rosidage. Um, and I was in bare feet, which was not helping with the promenade. But anyhow, we had a wonderful evening, and I absolutely loved spending it with great friends. <laughs> So it's 10.15 and our friends just left for the evening. Um, we had such a good time. Now I'm just having my hot choco and then I'm going to probably watch something for like 10 minutes just to wind myself down and get some sleep before another day tomorrow. We don't have too many rehearsals. Normally I wouldn't really have people around on a work night. I'm exhausted, <laughs> but we will make it through. It was so good seeing the friends, so it's so worth it. See you in the morning. The next day was once again company class and some rehearsals building back up, starting to feel my body more and more each day, which is nice because at the beginning I was a little bit like, whoa, this is a lot. Um, I don't normally take much time off, but at Christmas I felt like it was quite necessary. But now it's starting to feel better again. You can, you're on the blog. <laughs> this is what we do after rehearsals. We're so social. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I washed my hair last night and this is what happens. I haven't straightened it, I haven't blow dried it and it's, it's gone a bit crazy, so don't mind my hair. Can we at least make it look presentable? That will have to do. It is Saturday morning. I didn't vlog yesterday and obviously this is just a day in the life, so I know that I'm kind of going over, but I didn't get a chance to kind of talk to you guys properly about 2024 and New Year's resolutions. I'd love to hear some of yours. You've heard some of mine in this vlog. I normally like reset so hard, that I'm almost living a completely different life when I come back. But this time has been so different. I've, I, as I said, I just feel like I've come in a bit slow, which actually I don't think is a bad thing because it's gonna be a long, we have Sleeping Beauty tour. We have a lot of shows, I think somewhere in like 38 or something shows. I don't know 100% the number. Pacing yourself, you can't underestimate the power of that, especially when you're in a ballet company where you do just keep going and going and going and you don't stop um, until the summer. I don't think it's a bad thing. I struggle with it a little bit, thinking that maybe I'm not motivated enough or I'm not pushing hard enough on this fine Saturday. I actually see a little bit of blue sky, praise the Lord. But I think what is best right now is to rest. A free weekend, we don't get many of those in the next few months, so take this free weekend and rest up mentally and physically so that we're ready to take on more rep. There's something about learning rep that is really exhausting because you're taking on so much new information and you're not just trying to get the steps you're also trying to get the technique all at once and then the spacing and then where other people are around you and they're also trying to learn it it's good this week to kind of let that digest let that settle let the body settle after the shock of kind of coming back into a little bit more 
you know, full training, full uh, work mode so that we're ready for the week ahead. That is the updates. I would love to hear how you're approaching your 2024. Where I am at different points in my journey, I feel like 2021 and 2022, I was like running into the new year. I felt like last year, obviously with recovering from injury, last year was 2023. Yes, I was again kind of a little bit slower and then I, you know, managed to end the year really on a high. I'm hoping to do the same this year. Yeah, just trying to be a bit more clever with how I approach my work so I can go for longevity and not just for short spurts. But that is really difficult for me because I get a kick out of just pushing myself to the absolute limits. So it's a learning process. I have Move It coming up, which I'm creating a new piece for. Someone's created the music for it, which is amazing. But I need to do that. And then I've got uni work. And then I've obviously got you guys on YouTube and different collabs I'm doing this year. So trying to juggle everything. You'd think that would like motivate me more. But recently it's just been making me want to shut off from it. <laughs> but um, again, being honest, this is where I'm at in my process. And I'm sure throughout this week actually it's been interesting to see everything starting to switch back on mentally as well as physically so it's just a normal part of the process so if you're in that too guys you're not alone and um give yourself grace um that's what i've been giving myself this week and i feel like it's been working if you're in a similar spot just give yourself grace give yourself time and things will fall into place um, if you have made it to the end of this video make sure to comment this emoji and also join the motivated community in 2024 click the subscribe button it's totally free i just love you to be part of this journey with me i will see you very soon in my next video comment down below your suggestions of what you might want to see this year um i always appreciate your thoughts and always remember to dream big and make it happen thanks for watching guys